guys, how's it going? In this video, I will be showing you how to install Duke Nukem 3D on your MS-DOS VM. And it is a very simple process. It takes you back. So yeah, without further ado, let's get going. All right, let's get going. First thing we're gonna do is install the Sound Blaster 16 driver. Go to CD-ROM. I left a link in the description as to where you can download it. And go to Load Image once you've downloaded it and navigate to the place where it is and mine's in this folder in this instance and just click on it and and just type in D colon press enter and we will be typing in dir dir to see what commands there are type in install and that should install the sound drivers D and look at that continue full installation it has all the bells and whistles continue installing drivers do, 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 do. okay so the following lines have been added eh into the two files um, just press enter the config.sys file and the autoexec.bat file remember those and it has installed of course we have to reboot the system do do do, do hard reset See? Creative media. Do 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 see sound blaster. And yeah. So what we do now is you can download the shareware version of Duke Nukem 3D. I left it in a link in the description. What we're going to do is go to CD ROM and e eject the sound blaster driver image empty and go to load image and navigate to where you've downloaded Duke Nukem mine's here old school games and yeah and what we do now is just type in D colon press enter Let's type in dir dir and just to see what's on the shareware version and this version now the shareware version it may have a slightly different um um setup command but it may say setup or it may say install well, basically the full game says install so just type in install you'll come to this the setup may look slightly different from the share from this version the shareware version but same concept um, Duke Nukem 3d yes leave it at default and it will install press enter and you should come to here now what we do is go to sound setup and go to choose sound effects card sound blaster 
in this case, assuming that you've installed the same drivers and use these settings and uh, just leave them keep pressing uh, just keep pressing enter use the default and then we're going to test it hey oh man that's awesome and then what we're going to do is choose the music card it required two different types of cards. You can go to Sound Blaster and test the music card. For some reason it's stuttery, I don't know why, but I'll fix it later. If anybody has any, uh, any answer as to why it's doing that, just leave them in the comments. Um, press enter. Yeah, so that's it for setting it up and you, you can go down here and do a whole bunch of other settings if you want that's for another video though save and launch duke nukem 3d awesome let me let me enlarge this for you guys for some reason, the music's fine in game. I don't know what the heck happened with the uh, with the testing, but anyway, you guys catch my drift. Let's do some LA meltdown. Let's rock. And yeah, if you have any questions, comments, please feel Dead. free to leave them. I more than I will be more than happy to answer them and. Be sure to like and subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Thank you. Ooh. Ooh. Pretty cool, right? Let me enlarge this for you guys. For some reason, the music's fine in game. I don't know what the heck happened with the uh, with the testing, but anyway, you guys catch my drift. Let's do some LA meltdown. Let's rock. And yeah, if you have any questions, comments, please feel Dead. free to leave them. The I'm more than, I will be more than happy to answer them and. Be sure to like and subscribe, hit that subscribe button. Thank you. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh man, this is awesome.